<laughs> oh god. Hey, welcome. Oh, sorry. I blocked the doors because it's nighttime and I'm nervous. Welcome to my 2006 Prius. This video, we are just going to hang out a little bit, <laughs> even though I'm having a very difficult time fitting inside of it. But we're gonna hang out in my Prius for the last time ever, because I'm gonna sell it and I want one final night in here. Oh, speaking of nighttime. Okay, sorry, I set up a little bed back here and, oh, what happened? Sorry, it got dark. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Garrett, calm down. I'm gonna go have a little lay down with my teddy bear back here. Hang on. <laughs> this is gonna take me a long time to figure out how to get <laughs> all of this <laughs> back there. Okay, just one sec. <sighs> I can't feel my toes right now. Los Angeles has made a baby of me. But can I show you something? First of all, I have been tr trying to find these little Cheez-It socks forever. <laughs> Thank God I finally found them. And I've got a little plant and it's, 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 don't uh, focus. I was not screaming at you. I would not do that to you. I was screaming at me. <laughs> this is really, okay. I was, do you know about this matrix bear? No, I'll tell you about that later. Sorry. Just if you know anything about me, and I assume you do because you follow my side channel, which I'm trying to make more active this year. Anyway, sorry. Um, if you know anything about me, you know that for years, I, um, for a long, long, long time, I drove this 2006 Prius. Oh God, I almost threw up. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I haven't eaten in so long. It's been like three hours and I only had two breakfast burritos. <laughs> Anyways, I drove a Prius for a very, very, very long time here in Los Angeles, a 2006 Prius. And I would say that it was part of my personality. Is this by choice? Absolutely not. My 2006 Prius, which there were like videos about. If you're watching this right now, you might be thinking, Garrett, you shouldn't be taking this video while you're driving. Or you might even be thinking, Garrett, if you're gonna be driving, you might as well put your hands on the steering wheel. All valid concerns. But don't worry, because of course I'm not driving. I'm being towed, because my car is a piece of shit. Oh, and I was always driving around in it all the time, like you do in a car, sorry. The most boring guy on the planet. No, 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 it was part of my personality, not by choice, because my 2006 Prius was very, very, very often trying to, I don't wanna scare the algorithm by saying this, but I'll just say, kill me. My 2006 Prius was always trying to murder me by breaking down. Uh, on the one time it broke down on the freeway as I was going like 60 miles per hour. It was very scary. Thought it was the end. And then it did that like three more times. It's a whole thing. It breaks down at like festivals and I have to call people. It's not great. But for all of the murderous intents of this 2006 Prius, I still love this Prius a lot, but I got a wonderful new truck that I adore. It's a little city truck, a little hybrid, and I'm gonna have so many fun adventures in this thing. It's gonna become my new like haunted mobile. I got visions for it, baby, and I'm so excited. But for the past like, you know, over a year, my Prius has just been absolutely rotting in my driveway. This is some footage that I took uh, from earlier today. Okay, so like spiders have made um, like a little house behind the extremely broken mirror. And the mirror's broken because I got frustrated one day and I broke it. I, I won't get into that. So the Prius is just has just been in like a state. It's been sitting in my driveway and like there's all these little spiders who have made their little homes in it, in the wheel wells. It's dusty, it's dirty. There's like nature is like in the engine. I know one day because I I had to open it. <laughs> There's like a whole ecosystem of like living creatures in the engine. It's weird. Oh, you know, in like post apocalyptic, uh, po apocalyptic, God, focus, dude. Post apocalyptic movies and video games, such as The Last of Us. I don't know why I did that because there was, a, it's not as though the title was there. You know, that kind of thing when the, the world ends because of zombies or something, a little war, something scary that happens, an asteroid. And then nature starts to like reclaim the cities. Nature starts to grow in the hotels and stuff like that. That's what's been happening to my car. The passenger side wheel has started to get completely consumed by desert flora and fauna. <laughs> so yeah, nature is just reclaiming my car and I haven't done anything about it. I've done nothing about it. So it's just been sitting here in my driveway collecting dust and that's not great, okay? I've gotten probably like, oh my gosh, I've probably gotten like 30 to 50 of those little degrading letters that I'm sure we've all seen before. We wanna buy your junker piece of 
car, you know? Ah, oh, get that off my car. But And also, like, maybe, like, we'll talk. But, like, don't leave that on my car. It's not a piece of sh It's important to me, this car. Which is why I'm making this video. Also, <laughs> it's nighttime right now because, well, I was gonna film, like, a little segment in the daytime where I was, like, setting up the car. But then my gardeners came who take care of my front yard, God bless them, and I got really self-conscious and I didn't want to film in front of them because, like, they're really cool and I wanted to look cool in front of them. So I just, um, waited for them to go away and it got dark and so here we are. <laughs> but yeah, long story short, my Prius has been sitting in my driveway forever and I've thought about selling it like a hundred times, maybe even 120 times. But every time I do, I'm just like, no, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Like, I, I don't know. I keep on, I just can't let it go because I, you know, y'all know me. I, I hang on to stuff. That's why my house is kind of crazy sometimes because I get really sentimental with things, which is why like <laughs> I'm making this video even because I'm super, like, I just get really attached to stuff and I'm ritualistic and sentimental and like, dude, stuff means the world to me. I love it. I know minimalism is like really cool and stuff, right? Like, like sleek environments that are like, uh, no, I'm extremely maximalist and proud because I adore things. But I recently decided, okay, this is getting silly now. Like this car can do someone some good. It's time to sell it. I'm gonna let it go. And I swear I was gonna sell it before. Like I had a couple nieces and nephews who needed cars and stuff, but I was like, no, cause then like you're gonna die in it. Cause it's tried to kill me so many times. And like, I don't know, I'm gonna get like weird energy at the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at what I said. This is what, this is my reality. It's just laughing at what I say, because I live alone. <laughs> well, not right now. My friend Andrew Sawicki's living with me because he's between places and it's real fun, but he has to deal with this all the time. So does he. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. That's a teddy bear. He's not alive. He is. What was I saying? So I'm going to sell the Prius, but I figured not before I have one last night in it. One final night, I'm going to have the final night in it. I'm just vibing, just hanging out in it, you know, and I figured you could do that with me. Nothing crazy. Crazy. And then we'll tell you little secrets and gossiping. No, we're, we're not really gonna gossip. Him and I gossip, but I don't think that's. <laughs> sorry. Everything hurts because I'm also realizing. Oh God, sorry. I thought that was a ghost or a bear. I am a very massive person inside of a Prius right now. If you saw how I looked right now outside of like this frame, you'd click away. It's very spooky. But yeah, this video, it's nothing too fancy. I just really for myself wanted to like say goodbye to this car because I have spent like a collective like, oh, I don't know, literally like months in this car. I've slept in it countless times. I've, I've taken it on road trips. It just seemed weird to just like say goodbye to it or like to just to like sell it without like having a final moment of just being like, in it once more. So that's what this is. And I thought if you guys want to do that with me, cool. Maybe we'll eat some food or just have some fun. And I even brought us a book of my book and tell a scary story. But welcome to my little 2000s. I don't know what I'm going to call this video. Welcome to my little 2006 Prius sleepover. I think I'll sleep in here. Okay. That feels very good to get into a new position, sorry. Also, I feel like this is just a flattering angle, sideways and like crunched in a car. It wasn't doing it. So I wanted to spend, oh, I don't know, just like, I mean, I've already been in here for a long time before I even started shooting this video. I've just been like hanging out and stuff and not to sound like a pretentious, but I've been kind of like meditating in here. You know, I'm trying to do a lot more of like just that kind of thing this year. So I've just been thinking about all my, my time in this car and it's been kind of sweet, uh, but I knew I'd shoot this video as well. So I did something visually that was really fun. Okay, I bet you've already caught on to it. Oh, wait a minute, I thought maybe that it was nighttime. Why is it the brightest clouds and the prettiest clouds I've ever seen outside the window? It's fake. <laughs> I can put, it's paper, look, I did it on both sides. <laughs> cool and then look did you see the plant that i put uh, i've been watering that myself i've kept it alive for a very long time in fact i can say outside of myself i haven't kept myself alive necessarily because that was my mom's job for a long time and then like other people's jobs all the time <laughs> sorry it's getting too deep um but no that's the thing that i've kept along for the, the longest time that i've kept alive it, isn't that nice <laughs> there's people watching this that are just like holding like two babies just like shut up shut why am i watching this like this guy's pathetic like a plant but you know what? You got to be proud of what you're proud of. So if you are holding two babies in your arms right now and you've kept real humans alive, I'm proud of you. <laughs> I think that's very impressive. I am too much of a coward to have children. <laughs> You know what's funny about me saying that, about keeping a plant alive, is that call it like whatever you want to call it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Do you guys ever get obsessed with things like just mentally? I know that I go through these really, really hyper obsessions with things. Sometimes it's a show, sometimes it's a movie, but more often I find it's like uh, ideas. I, I then just, uh, <laughs> for me, it's like about ideas, you know, like. <laughs> 
sounds so annoying. If a guy said that to me at a party, I'd be like, all right, I'm gonna go grab a drink. No, but it has been like, I've been really obsessed recently with like just reading on Reddit about people who have children and stuff and like how they feel about that and different ways to live and all these different things we can do. You know what I mean? Life is infinite. It's crazy how many different things and how many different paths we can be taking at any one point in terms of like people to know and partners to be with and choices to make and jobs to work or kids to have and not have. It's kind of crazy. And I have been thinking a lot about that and seeing it happen, you know, sometimes in my own life, like a friend from high school will like have a kid or something. And I'm just like, what you, <laughs> that baby's in danger. That can't happen. <laughs> Stuff like that, you know? And seeing like my own nieces and nephews grow up, I don't know. I've just been thinking about that recently. But I guess what I, all I want to say is that if you have a kid, I think that's very impressive and very cool if you're keeping um, something that is alive, alive. I probably should just focus on the cloud windows and <laughs> stick to what I'm good at and not philosophizing. I guess I've just been thinking a lot, <laughs> but I'll chill. Do you see the windows? I even did it with the back window too, you see? It sort of looks like maybe the clouds, I imagine. Well, I did something else really, really fun. Okay, so something I've done a lot in this car, I have eaten through the years Taco Bell in this vehicle so many times that you wouldn't believe it. So for the sake of old time's sake, not because I really want to Taco Bell, but just for the sake of old time's sake. Okay, I was going to do this thing where like the next shot would be Taco Bell and it's like, oh, wacky Garrett, of course you got Taco Bell, but I discovered that I can change this light just by hitting it up Yay! against this plant. Oh God, if I would have known that in 2023, that would have changed everything. <laughs> oh, also look at my little car, you see? Well, I, I don't, have I given you the full tour? Well, I'm just very, I'm 220, 30 pounds, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm 6'4", and I'm, it, I like, I am having to put my leg up here just to fit my leg somewhere. But look, I made a little bed back there. You understand? Okay, the Taco Bell does exist. It's in the front seat. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. Well, I, I can smell the Taco Bell which is great, but I also have this. You see, I've got a car candle going. Look at that. And is that safe to have a candle going in your car? No, <laughs> no, it's not, it's not. Don't do like me. But, but it smells nice and I wanted it. And also it's freezing out here. Come colder than an iceberg. So I wanted a candle. So the Taco Bell's up there and I was gonna say, it smells like Madagascar bourbon vanilla. The scent of the candle, I think it is. And Taco Bell, which is creating a smell that smells like not heaven or hell, but like the place in between purgatory. I think that Bible calls it. Right. Ah! Um, oh, I also have a lot more candles in case it gets cold. I can see the news story already. Dumb, dumb, dumb boy, boy, idiot YouTuber dies in his Prius because he had 14 candles going, going on inside of it. I was going to explain before grabbing for my Taco Bell that for whatever reason, I know I'm not like technically the right age to, to be an iPad baby, but for some reason I've become one. So <laughs> I brought my computer out here just to set up, you know, and like maybe, maybe I'll watch a little movie later. I won't bore you with the footage of me watching a movie. Well, maybe I will. <laughs> I might. No, but I've become sort of an iPad baby in the respect that if I, you know, if something's not on while I'm eating, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um, So I've been watching a lot of The Office and Fail Army, just like a basic bro. It's very weird. It's probably not the greatest thing because I should just be thinking when I eat sometimes or, ooh, this is very next level 2024, thinking about what I'm eating. Um, But it's so much more fun to watch something. Speaking of watching something, my background is Mobius from Loki. Oh, season two was so good. Okay, sorry. Also, look at that little honey. I love this man so much. Although I've never seen a Cars movie before, which is weird because I've seen so many Pixar movies. Okay, everyone say on the count of three what their favorite Pixar movie is. One, two, three. Coco. <laughs> Imagine like what my car looks like from the outside right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this neighbor walked past me and she had this beautiful, like this massive white dog. And you know, it was like close to midnight or something and she was, she walked past me and she kind of saw what I was doing. So I was taping all these cloud images to the outside of my car, like a psycho with like three lights in my hand. And I looked over at her and she like kind of got nervous and it was like fight or flight response. <laughs> and she just went, oh, like, you know, Jonesy, whatever her dog's name was like, oh, Jonesy, what's going on here? And my only response was like, oh, you know, just one of those things. Thanks.
And she was like, oh, have a good night. <laughs> As I'm like taking, you know, duct tape and like <laughs> putting it around my car. She thinks I've killed at least four women and that they were <laughs> dead in this car. Oh, right, the Taco Bell though? Oh yes, I was gonna say, what should I put on? Oh, <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't bore you with this. Oh, but right, iPad babies? That's a crazy thing, psychologically speaking. I'm not shaming on it. Like I cannot stand when people are like, this next generation. I don't hate many things, but I've always greatly disliked the whole like very buzzfeedy internet, like <laughs> millennials and boomers and Gen X. It's like the weirdest way to cause discourse, all that stuff is the weirdest, like, most divisive thing for nothing. You're so rarely ever seeing people say, like, nice, sweet things about each other. If that was it, I wouldn't mind people talking about different generations. That's a real thing. Ugh, it just feels so long in the tooth and lame. Like, generational jokes on the internet. I hate them. Same way astrology can be divisive. And again, I love it. Astrology is like a super cool, positive, interesting thing that I think is great and mystical and interesting. But like, you ever you ever try being a Gemini and introduce when someone asks you at a party and you introduce yourself as a Gemini? Oh, the response is I get. It's just like, wait, what's your sign? Totally fine question. Astrology people, great. But like, you know, fine. What's your sign? I Gemini, I think. Oh, I could tell. And just like always this response, like I just asked to like borrow money or something. It's always the weirdest response, you know? And I've always thought stars and the moon and space was supposed supposed to be like objective and not like judge me because I say I'm a Gemini. Oh right, the Taco Bell. Oh yeah, you remember that vine from earlier? What was he doing? I was at a Taco Bell drive through in it. Oh my gosh, I was a viner. Oh, not gonna finish this vine till that's all healed up. No more social content. Vine is the reason for like my entire social network, by the way. I won't go on a vine rant. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I made that vine about me eating Taco Bell because I've eaten Taco Bell in that front seat. Right, sorry, I know you know what a front seat looks like, but oh my geez, it sucks. Yay! In that front seat, right up there, so many countless times. <laughs> and it shows on my body. <laughs> oh god, I was sick for like two months. That was the worst sound I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> oh yeah, I got the C word. <laughs> Not that C word, sorry, like, you know, I don't want to say it because the algorithm, but I got that in like, what was it, December or something, and oh my gosh, all of November and December, I don't get me started, it was the worst. I was useless. I thought like over the holidays I was gonna be one of those YouTubers that like in December did a bunch of cool videos and stuff, and I did nothing. I just sat in bed so miserable, but I watched so many TV shows and that was fun. So oh, I'm probably gonna put on Coco. That's what I decided, but you know, I don't want the video to get copyright strict, so I you won't hear it or see it. But trust me, I'm watching Coco. But I've eaten Taco Bell so many times in this car. So I <laughs> I open all bags like that, by the way. A heathen. It annoys some people. You should see me opening up Amazon boxes. It looks like a crime scene. I punch through the tape, you know, and then I like grab the closest knife and rip them open. And oh, my place is covered in styrofoam and card, card, cardboard. Styrofoam? Styrofoam? No one knows how to say that. Say what you will. Everyone has their own opinions. I respect that. But if someone wants to spout the putrid opinion that a Crunchwrap Supreme is not the most elite thing from Taco Bell, it's fine, you know, opinions are fine, but you're fooling yourself. I am correct about this. Like, it is an objective fact. You wanna know why? Because inside of a Crunchwrap Supreme is every single thing that Taco Bell serves in one thing. This is Taco Bell incarnate. And I know what you're thinking, oh, but they have nacho cheese in them, they have this thing in them. But you can change it out. You can ask the person not to do the things that put in it that you don't want to put in it if you don't like the beef. Oh yeah, and then I got, oh, I only got two things. What am I, the king of health? Only getting two things from Taco Bell? which is probably normal, I don't know. But a lot of people don't know about, what are these called? Cheesy roll-ups. They're divine and they're like 99 cents. Now that looked awful. That looked like the opposite of what they'd go for in a commercial or something. It's just that it's been in my cold car for like an hour. But trust me, cheesy roll-ups are the god tier Taco Bell item. They're so simple and they're probably good for a baby, I'd imagine. If you were to drive through with a toddler and a Taco Bell and you asked him what he, he or she wanted and then they went like, well, eh, there's made a sound. You'd probably just be safe to get them that because I'm basically a baby and I love these things. <laughs> no, I'm not a baby though. Because with a baby, you'd be able to handle Diablo hot sauce. What does that say? Tattoos or it didn't happen. What? What is that? Well, I'm not trying to be funny. What does that mean? I can't. I'm not consuming what's inside of that because what's on the outside of it. <laughs> what is this? Is this like bad influence? I, 
is Taco Bell trying to be like edge lords, <laughs> like edge lords in like a PG way? What is this bad influence? <laughs> Disney plus edge lording Taco Bell, <laughs> bad influence. I mean, <laughs> that's just not good marketing, right? Because Taco Bell for me is a bad influence. At least it's honest. Wait, it's great marketing. Thanks for being honest, Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, for me though, Diablo sauce or nothing at all. Oh. This is so criminal. I can't believe what I'm doing. I was so excited to show you this and to use this properly. Look, look, I found this G.I. Joe d a dinner tray in a thrift store. Very rusted. Wait, I, put, I, I used this in my breakfast video. You've already seen this. Oh, I'm boring you. <laughs> but you've not seen such a good look at it. Look at that. All right. Doesn't look like a great situation, to be honest. Looks very violent, but it's fun to eat on it. I don't know if I could put food directly on this because it's so rusted. Tetanus, is that a thing? I'll be fine. <laughs> I've, I've gotten worse. Okay, actually, I think that's terrible. I think it was just fun to show you that, but it's not really working. That is so nice. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> I watched this video once on the internet, not to call anyone out. I don't even know who it was, but like, I remember it was a girl in a car. It might be a joke and maybe she's like very funny, but it was like a girl in a car. Cause I think YouTubers who make like food content have to do like very big reactions. And I started with a food show called like Will It Combo on my main channel where I was combining all these crazy foods because like I almost <clears throat> can't get grossed out. It takes insane things for me to get grossed out. So I was like, well, that's a power. So I should use that. So I had this whatever. Anyways, but yeah, <laughs> there's some people who take it to the funniest degree by adding their like social media mentality with their trying food mentality. And there was this video I remember of this girl in a car and she was like, I think it was the Taco Bell fries. And she was like, so Taco Bell came out with these new fries and people are talking about how like dipping them in cheese sauce is like good <laughs> and then she was like like potatoes and cheese like basically like cheese fries and she was like okay i'll try it <laughs> like you know no pun intended but like made a meal out of it with a reaction and was like like dipped it in there like oh oh my god and then like tried it and was like wait <laughs> This is actually good to be like, yeah, it's potatoes and cheese. Like, oh my gosh, that's, <laughs> can you just imagine if I did that with this? Like, <laughs> I won't though. But yeah, because everything's good, which I don't know if that's great for me or my body <laughs> that I would just, I could put like nacho cheese on a rusty nail and Yay! I would be like, I mean, it's good and cheap. <laughs> I'm going to eat this off camera. You don't want to see this. I'm going to watch a little bit of cocoa. I'll see you in a moment. <laughs> I don't know why I made it seem like I was going to have like a nice moment of sitting down and enjoying a meal and taking my time. I went through that quick, but I saved a little bit because there's this wonderful raccoon that's been coming around my place at night for like, oh, uh, I don't know, the past three months or so. And he's coming back to the same place because I've been feeding him very consistently. So I'm going to save a little bit of my crunch wrap for him. And if you're a person who's from um, Los Angeles, who is like enforces laws about feeding animals, or if you're a person who gets like really mad at me for like feeding animals sometimes, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a parody or something. And then also uh, my Wi-Fi is not working because I'm outside, I guess, too far from my Wi-Fi, but I have had luckily some of the British office downloaded on my, on my MacBook, which is incredible. I don't know if any of you are aware about the British office, but I prefer it over the American, but I also love the American one too. But something I just realized <clears throat> that I need to do if I'm gonna sell this car is to like, you know, I need to clear it out. I know it looks kind of clean in there, but there's like the glove box and there's all this like stuff everywhere in the car. Um, and cause I just found this under the seat. This is a bug catcher, uh, which I am obsessed with. I love bugs so much. And the only thing I love more than saving a little bugs and critters is to watch them. So sometimes, you know, like it's a little exchange is that if I save a bug's life, they can pay me by letting me watch them for like 22 minutes. It's so fun. Um, I'll put on little songs for them. And sometimes if I'm watching a movie, I'll just like a movie, I'll just kind of set them next to me. You know, I've spent so much time looking into this thing that I feel like I just got hypnotized by it. Yeah. But because it has a little viewfinder. So, and then of course, once you're done hanging out with them, you just take them outside and you just gently move this little thing back and you just put them outside. One of the most fun things about it is you can look up like what bug you're freeing, be it a spider or a ladybug or like anything, or maybe an earthworm. I've never caught an earthworm with this. You can um, Google like where best to put them. That's what's really fun is because you can kind of put them in their own personal heaven. Sometimes it's not just about putting them outside. You can be like, oh, you know, this cre creature likes to be close to water or shade or this or that, or they like to be on plants or elevated. And then you can put them in the best place for them and be a benevolent god to these little critters. Anyways, oh, I'm being boring. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I just reached into the back pocket and found one of those. 
<laughs> Sorry, it looked a lot weirder than it was. It's a mask. Remember those dark days? <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> Remember how we're all still coming back from that and no one talks about it anymore? <laughs> um, okay. Oh, there's other things. Maybe at the seat and find something fun? <laughs> now, that's just a giant bag of little babies. If you've been watching me for a long time, you know I can't get enough of these little plastic babies. I put them everywhere. I probably have, I probably owned at least 30 little bags like this, and this is one that's never even been opened. But I hide these little guys everywhere. I bury them sometimes. I think it's funny to put them on top of various kind of like picture frames. I leave them on people's desks for them to find. Sometimes if I will be at a bar, I'll leave one on the bar next to a beer. It looks like the baby's having a, a cold one. <laughs> After work! <laughs> How funny is that? The bartender's just like, oh god, this guy again who's gonna litter the bar with babies. Uh, but yeah, these are really fun and they're really, really cheap and I just can't recommend them enough. So I just got a new bag of those, even though I probably have like a million of these. Oof. What else? Oh, well, that's something cool sounding. Oh, <laughs> that's just, that's for, that's for watering the plant, okay? That's for, I put water in that. No, it's not what it looks like, by the way, being in my car. It was, it was a camp out and it's not what it looks like, I swear. It was a camp out. It's normal. Okay, filming in here is a nightmare because I, I don't know where to go. I just am in the glove box and look what I found. I found two letters from my mom, who is the loveliest person on the planet. Ah! I liked to keep these in my car and I keep them on my fridge everywhere. She's always sending me little letters and they always cheer me up. Um, so I, I like to keep those, but isn't that sweet? Isn't that fun? Oh, geez. Yeah. Okay. Jesus, look at how scary my, <laughs> the inside of my Prius looks right now. Not me making an overnight in my haunted Prius video. Look at that! The cloth that I put up there on the window so I can have my privacy. Looks like a bunch of me scary men in hats upside down. They look like sleep paralysis demons <laughs> to me anyways. God, I can't reach. Oh God, I burned my hand on the candle. <laughs> okay, that's my, that's my candle. C candles in cars are not a good idea, folks. <laughs> Don't do it. But I'm not blowing my out because it smells too good. <laughs> this is a good find. It was in the back seat. I've been looking for this for a very, very long time. <clears throat> it's a knife that I've been carrying since I was uh, a boy, just a kid. And I know, you know, that's well, some people think that's weird. Well, I was raised in um, me in Memphis, Tennessee <laughs> in the 90s. Kids had knives. <laughs> they still have knives, right? Do you guys have knives? <laughs> oh, stop filming, Garrett. Jesus. <laughs> Look who I found in the cup holder. It's Ryan. <laughs> oh, I'm going to lay down. This is actually so nice. Oh, I've come undone. <laughs> I've successfully managed to get a surprising amount of my body laid down. You know, and it looks pretty nice. I've got my little pajama pants on. The vibes are good. I think the candle's still going up there, but I'll figure it out. I really, really like it in here. I thought maybe I'd get impatient or too cold and be like, oh, maybe I'll just spend a little couple hours in here and then, you know, end up just going to bed. But I love it. I feel, I feel so at home in here. Like I said, I've slept in here a fair amount of times. So I know how this goes. I guess I'm just remembering it. But I guess it's funny. I didn't talk too much about like Prius memories, but you guys know how it is. Like, I don't know, maybe you've, you're on your first car or you've had a first car before and you just remember what it was like to be in it, like the smell of it, the memories with it, all the, I don't mean to get all sappy and stuff, but like, you know how this is, you know, your little attachment to one of your first cars ever and just how it feels and it's really cute. So I hope you remember yours or maybe you don't even have your first car yet. Maybe you're one year old watching this, but you're going to love it when you finally get it. And um, <clears throat> it's been nice to have a moment in here and you know, this isn't the final moment in it because I'm going to be in here for a while because look at the vibe I've got going. Look at this, I found some beautiful ambient visuals on my computer here that I'm that I'm gonna sleep to. I've got a couple pals posted up right here. Look, I got my Matrix Edition Build-A-Bear, my No Way Home Green Goblin, and look, we even have Ryan back there trying to sneak a little peek. It's okay, bud, you can come hang out and sleep uh, down here. Look, you can be right there with Norman Osborn. Isn't that nice? So this ain't a bad vibe, look at this. Oh my gosh. No, I'm gonna get my blanket. I will blow out the candle. I promise I won't. Look, if you're seeing this video, it means that I uploaded it and so I did not die burning in this car. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna blow my candle out. Oh God, sorry, I just looked over and saw that. <laughs> I didn't realize, oh Jesus. <laughs> All right, maybe I'll put on something more chill. 
Oh, not me finishing Coco. <gasps> my last movie in my car <laughs> with my friends. This is so cool. You know, I, I mean, I'm gonna sleep in here. This is terrific. Um, I hope you enjoyed my little, my little, oh, I'm gonna set my camera down. I'm really cozy in my little car right here. Thanks for hanging out with me and um, having my little final moment in my Prius. And I, I if there's a moral to this story, <laughs> it's that like, even if you have a car right now that you don't love, that's sort of a beater that's complicated and uh, breaks down on you sometimes that like you have to pay for and you're like, oh my God, where am I gonna find the money to pay for this? You, you will love that car greatly someday and you will look back on it with a lot of affection, I promise. But um, yeah, I just wanna say that even if you have a beater car, I hope you love it. Um, I don't know, I mean, I'm trying to find like a moral when I'm laying in the back of my Prius with McDonald's back rooms, ambient visuals playing and I'm next to a Matrix Build-A-Bear and Green Goblin and Ryan. And I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> I think that's my point. Maybe I don't have a point. Before you go, if you want to tell me something cool in the comments, I'd love to hear. Tell me what your first car was or like, do you have like a beater car right now? Are you into it? I don't know. <laughs> Let's talk cars. <laughs> no, I don't, I wouldn't know anything about cars or like anything. I'm just saying, what was your first car? And maybe if you want to like, tell me something cool about it. Uh, maybe a nice memory you had in it or something. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna sleep in here. Yeah. This is sweet and fun. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. I love you. See you. Good night. <laughs>